Damn it, I just realized I freaking accidentally forgot to use Lucas. <laughs> New fighter, you forgot to freaking actually use him. I broke my own rule already. I've been breaking a lot of rules lately, but you know what? I'm struggling, okay? <laughs> Give me time to breathe, man. I don't, I don't fucking just breathe smash, all right? Yeah, I hope most people understand that by now. Man, some people just are not willing to understand. Because some people just expect me to be good at everything. So I'm just fighting a Gengar with a freaking psychic person. If it's not Gen 1, it's not going to work out. Well, I'll have to make it work one way or the other. So, get over here! Gengar, you're dead to me! You're dead to me! I don't think I'm forgetting I can lower the difficulty if I want to, but... What will be the fun in that? I committed to play this on hard, and I'm gonna keep it that way, no matter how much I struggle. Ow! Jesus! Alright, sorry! Good lord, excuse me for trying to beat you up the first time! God, that was painful. Well, ow. Hey, welcome back, everybody, to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate's World of Light. This is your host, MJ406. And, well, the journey continues. We try to, ah, put a stop to Galeem. And, uh, well, we got rid of one of their fortresses of, ow, terror not long ago. Ow. But we still have more work to do. Because there's still plenty of creatures out there, and I forgot there's a whole section of the map I haven't even reached yet. <sighs> then again, there's only more of the map that unlocks once I actually get through all the fortresses as well. Oh, then again, I can finally get over here now. Ah, that's the way to another fortress. There's another path over there. Why is there an Animal Crossing character with this much power? I'm not gonna worry about it. I think I'm just gonna kill him. I think I'll be better off if we just kill him. Why not? <laughs> oh, God. I still find it so weird how fucking messed up some of the program for the Pokemon games can be. Like, I would love that. In Generation 1, the anime is like, Oh, you gotta have a ghost type. That's the only thing you can deal with psychic types. Because they're the only thing that's, that psychics are weak to. Except the original Generation 1's programming. Freaking... Freaking ghost types are actually programmed wrong, so they could actually do anything to freaking... Psychic types at all. Psychic was completely immune to ghost type. Making that make no fucking sense. Why are you a ninja with all these warriors, Rover? Animal Crossing characters don't have this kind of power. Except for the villager. He's a monster all on his own. Well, at least that train is gonna blow up. I remind you, I need to think about playing Spear Tracks sometime. As far as feel, probably wouldn't want me playing Spirit Tracks because it's Spirit Tracks and the DSL games are usually frowned upon. Even though I thought that, well, Phantom Hourglass sucks, but, you know, I still thought, oh, baby, with that hit! Ow, she. Oh, God, no. The house, the house is coming. No! I always thought Phantom Hourglass sucked, but ah, damn it! Continue. I always thought that at least Spear Tracks was decent. It's a lot better than Phantom Hourglass, but people don't like it. Oh, the train! The train travel! Why is Link driving a train? Hey, if you play it, you'd appreciate it more than what fucking Phantom Hourglass' trash was. Please. At least the Go. dungeons were at least halfway decent. It didn't feel like a poor man's Phantom Hour. Didn't wait, wait. Hang on, hang on, let me really rethink that. It didn't feel like a poor man's Wind Waker. There we go. It didn't feel like a poor man's Wind Waker. That's definitely the way I wanted to say that. Ah, damn it! I just wanted to counter you! Ah, oh, you grabbed me! My tongue can't stop me from getting grabbed! Kidnapping is my greatest weakness! They know. They know too much. Ah! Alright, that's how you're gonna be. Screw all of you then. Oh, what? Are you, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, that one grabbed me. He fell asleep. Such bullshit. I hate this game sometimes. Such bullcrap. 
Oh, I gotta remember, I'm top tier. I keep screwing this up. Ack! All right, I'll stop talking about tears, I'm sorry! But yeah, it still amazes me how messed up Pokemon's program could be. They could, they could go so far as to fuck up my actual type weakness right like that. The way it was supposed to be is just wrong. Like, oh, Ow! Yeah, they fuck up a lot of things. You ran into the Lloyd, Rocket. You dumb, dumb bitch. Oh, my God. Hey, this is why this whole project's gonna take a fucking eternity. Well, this is what people live, want to watch for, for your failure. Oh, God. There we go. I gotta remember to do that more frequently. Alright. Alright, Cheek. That's enough. I meant to do standard B! Ow! Spike me out of the train, you son of a bitch! I just can't win anything right now. I don't know if I have to kill just Sheik or if I have to beat all of them. I feel like I have to beat all of them, though. Call it a hunch. Alright, I gotta do what I can to kill this bitch. Oh, I wanted that food. Okay, fine. The food's gone. Works for me. Yo, Peach might actually be the best chance I have in this mission because of all this crap. Oh, I finally killed one. You're not going to get my way. Not again. Not again. I'll make sure you can't win. Oh, God, I landed right on that. Oh, shit. Nope. Hide away from the house building project. No thank you. Okay, I have to kill them all. Huh! 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 Gotta let the smash meter run down. That's all I gotta do. Gotta let the smash meter run down and I'll be good. Or does it not run down for you, you fucking cheating asshole? Screw you! Oh, jeez. Man, I didn't realize some of the Animal Crossing people had... Lifestyles that were so deadly for everybody else. Then again, they're all friggin' sadists. That game embraced the furry community. And that's what scares me the most about it. It was revealed to me that apparently a lot of people in Japan are furries. Are you really surprised by that fact? Kind of? Oh, God. MJ, you know everybody thinks of Jack... Of, you know, weird sexual fetishes and fantasies when they think of freaking Japan. They're the ones that kind of have it out the most, like, obviously. They're not very, you know, subtle about it. And sometimes, some of them are terrifying. Like, I sometimes actually worry about the people in Japan. What they need to do to relieve their stress from how hard their jobs can be. I just... I would hope they'd be more normal than what a lot of me would like to depict the Japanese. I would like to hope. But now one of the, but now one of the biggest friggin' video game franchise under Nintendo's banner is basically just a furry fantasy. You're the mayor of a town, you're basically a furry. Like, come on, bro. It's not cool. <laughs> oh! There we go! The only animal I need in my life is DK. Oh, yeah. What a punch to finish, fucking dog. Woo! That was beautiful. I love it when a plan comes together. We got another master. So now we have another dojo style. The brick wall style. Hello, you dogs. I know you, copper and whatever. Hello, citizen. This is what can be expected from master our style. Basically, defense over offense. That's a pretty simple one. Thanks, but no thanks. I don't need that from you. I'm pretty comfortable with what I have, actually, so... You don't mind? I'm gonna take the bus. I'm gonna go somewhere fun. Where are we going, anyway? Oh! Yes! 
Finally, I wanted to go this way for so long. If it's where I think we're going. Yes! Finally! I came all this way for one fighter. And who would it be other than... Who seems to be everybody's favorite character from Animal Crossing. Well, I'm, I'm not going to keep bashing you. i calling everybody a furry for liking Animal Crossing stuff. But it's a life sim. I get the fun cuteness that's behind it. What I understand, why is Isabel everybody's favorite character? Why is still Tom Nook at the end of the day? Like, yo, I love Tom Nook. He's such a shady piece of shit. Man, that's why I like it. Where the whole game is supposed to be, like, bright and happy. Tom Nook is the... Nice, pleasant reminder of how shitty a corporate reality can be. <laughs> oh, you're trying to enjoy your life. Well, guess what? You owe me money for the loan I... You owe me money because of the loan I gave you to basically have a fucking house. This is towards the battle. You need to keep buying stuff to make a living, right? You better make sure you keep funneling that cash. Like, yo, he is the part of realism that world needs. <laughs> Why I can't hate the guy. I love the guy. Tom Nook is the greatest. <laughs> if you actually admire Tom Nook, you have a problem. You're probably right. I probably do have a problem. <laughs> but dude, I've always loved Tom Nook. I think I also like Mr. Resetti. I like that he basically was an asshole. It's like, oh, do you reset your game? You didn't turn it off? You know you gotta save the games, so you probably should make sure you do not turn that off. Never do that again! Oh! Oh wait! Oh right, I'm sorry! He basically just hounds you for it, like, yo! Why are you so angry over it, bro? What the hell? Why are you so angry over this? I didn't think it was gonna be such a big deal! Well, little did you know, he's very upset you reset that game. That reset button is very sensitive. You do not want to mess with that thing. Also the same, right off the bat. You know? I'm not a big fan of Isabel in this game. That being said, I like her more than Villager. Her fishing rod fro is bullshit. She almost feels like a clone in a way, though. It's weird how many characters they have in here that feel similar. I mean, I guess in all fairness, a lot of fighting games do that, but even still. I'm just saying it. Ow! General. Right, attacking freezes can freeze you as well. Ha ha! You weren't ready for the explosive, were you? But yeah, I'm just not. There are a lot of clones in this game. I guess a lot of fighting games do that, but I don't know. You know sometimes Smash Bros. feels like so many of them are clones. It's like, goddamn. I'm still so upset they did not capitalize on the Echo Fighter thing. I guess it's not time to talk about that technically, because we haven't really gone over it in depth yet. Ooh, a black warp pipe. I wonder who this will take. A whole new area to explore. Oh, God! Team Chaotix has a whole fight? Well? Sure. I guess since we're talking about the furries and the animal community, we may as well get the whole Sonic universe involved. Like, man. Oh, wow. That was great. All right. There are some communities. I just have to wonder, man. Like... Some people have really, really weird preferences for their sexual tastes. Like, and again, the worst one is honestly. Well. Oh god, the SPO power. Wow, they really are going the Sonic Heroes route with this, aren't they? <clears throat> Ow! Leave me alone! Fucking crocodile! Becker, fuck off! And they have Sonic basically being fucking Espio. Of course they do. There we go. Now I feel good. I feel safe. But yeah, a lot of people's freaking fetishes and things that give them sexually aroused. It just... Yeah, if it's obvious, a lot of it can really bug me. And it should bug most people! Because it ain't right! Oh my god, I just made... Oh my god, I just realized. I gotta check all my facilities. I gotta check everything! All these guys fully leveled up, but they can evolve, I think. Pretty much all of them. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! And thank you! You all mean heads! I shall enhance all of you. First of all... Okay, you guys all had enhanced previously. 
So I don't really need to use you guys anymore. I probably should upgrade some more of these, huh? Now I may as well do this until I get more of that or the enhanceable category. I need to make these guys strong enough that I can actually make use of them. I should probably more go after the ones that want to get built up first. It just feels right that way. So I'm going to go and get condition instead. There we go. Now I have an easier time to figure out which one of you I want to level up. I want to get the stronger ones higher, so that way I'm ready. Oh, hey, Evil Ryu, that's right. I was lucky to have you. I'll keep you around. You'll be very, very helpful to me. Anybody else that needs an upgrade? Nothing really high up that I can think of, anyway. Yeah, we'll wait. We'll probably get another enhanceable one later. I have to remember to check these every time I do them. Because I never remember these. Ever. Now get the hell out of here! Give me my items! Hey, you're finally back! Yeah, thanks. Thanks or no thanks. Alright, I only had one... One person there I was actually gonna... Upgrade their level. Just another reminder, though. While these guys are out exploring, I don't think you can use them. So, you know. Make sure you go after... Use those that you do not feel you need. So... Yep. Think carefully about which ones you want to send out. That's really all I can tell you. And that's all I'll go with. Now go out and explore and get me more stuff. Fight me, things. Uh, you know, yeah, I'm fine with you. Like, you know, people of any kind is fine as long as it's not like a big age gap thing or, you know, mission complete. Yeah, obviously should be an age gap, especially nothing involving children. That's another thing that Japan tends to get a bad, bad rap for. So, some people think of, like they love having children get together, which is fucking weird to think about. Shouldn't think about it. Stop thinking about it. I said stop thinking about it! But don't you listen! But yeah, they get a bad rap for some of their freaking fetishes and stuff. They really seem to love squids, too. Which is also just weird. Funny. Hey, I guess I should get in the way of what they love. Even though I really should. It shouldn't be anything involving kids. It shouldn't be anything involving things that aren't human. Definitely things. Definitely don't have to be things that aren't human. Ooh, that looks smash holding. That's useful. I didn't notice that till now. Which one of these did I want? Oh, Metal Killer I want eventually. Yeah, yeah, okay. Right. I want to get down to there. Oh, I should have improved escape. Damn, that would have been nice to have. Yeah, I'll check shopping later. I would actually start exploring and get more stuff done, like finding a Pokemon. Oh, god. Oh, right. Hang on. I forgot. I got enhanced my spirits. God damn it. I always forget to do this. All right, then. Let's enhance them. Did the sound just cut out? Oh. I think the music kind of stopped. Um. Okay. Hey, well, let's enhance some spirits. We got Mega Groudon, or Primal Groudon, excuse me. Fire explosion resistance can be useful. There we go, now the music's back. Huh, that was weird. I kind of thought something happened. And we have Petey Piranha, who lets you be giant to start the battle. That can be also be useful. The X Parasite. Oh, they evolve this in a fucking nightmare. Fuck you. Fuck you, nightmare. Lifesteal. Ooh. Basically, the more damage I do, the more life I get. And you have Mini Mario, who evolves into... Mini Mario with hammers. Your hammer duration goes up. So, cool, I guess? Um, thanks. Yeah, thanks for that, I suppose. I keep forgetting I catch some and others, but I don't want to get rid of some of the spirits I have. Like, I have to get rid of... 
actual spirits I have, which I only have one of. I can summon you, even though I have you already. Right, they do have a check mark for those that you have, so that way you don't need to worry about it. About summoning them. It's always good to look at these. You don't mind getting some, rid of some for some really good ones. Up to you, though. Make sure you know it's one you want, though. If you see a power thing there, you know you can actually use them. Like Gray Fox here. But yep, just remember, you get rid of the spirits you have for those. So, you know, don't use them if you do, if you want to keep those spirits. Do not sacrifice them. And, some, and we get some to have asking for the generic cores. Basically, as long as you get rid of any spirit that's related to whatever that core is, then... You're good. But you need multiple spirits. That's what two of the regular spirit battles might be useful for. Or doing adventure mode a second time. Ready? Go! Which I will say, if you want to have all the spirits in the game, you are going to want to have all the spirits on you at once. You are going to want to do the adventure mode twice. Because there are some you can only get once from adventure mode, and a couple of them are enhanceable. And one of them shows up pretty late in the game, too. It's pretty fucking annoying. Ow, I didn't think you guys would actually... Oh, that's what I have that for! I finally see what I have these being useful for! Fucking Boga Blitz! Get away from me! Also feels weird fighting Zelda enemies in a Xenoblade world. Gotta say. This doesn't add up well. That's all. Ow! Oh, he punched me, that son of a bitch! I gotta remember how to use my Pac-Man. Eat shit! You gonna let you get away with that? Oh god! That would have been embarrassing. If I let that work, I would have been very embarrassed. Look at I am summoned! You won't get to see it! Fuck you! Uh, but yeah. Anybody who's into things with kids, you're all fucked up. Then again, that's what we have people called pedophiles. We don't like those people, because, you know, they're terrible. Ooh, Mario Galaxy 2 thing. Oh. Cool, I get to be giant, too. Nice. I do like the music they use for this, too. If I'm lucky, I'll get a Mario character, so I'll be up to par of these guys. And I got Captain Falcon again, because, of course, you gotta love Captain Falcon. Oh, look, I love Captain Falcon, too, but jeez. Give the guy a break. <laughs> Ready? There is enough going on with him. Oh, man! Look at his giant power! This is why I want Metal Killer. Oh, my God! See, his enhanceable spirits are fucking amazing. That's why you want these enhanceable spirits. The abilities they tend to have make you a lot stronger than other typical spirits. So, yeah. If you can enhance them, definitely do so. Oh, cool. Spirit points. i use that for shopping later. Oh, right, I can't go up ice slopes. Right. Well. Um. There you go. I was going to say, I don't know what you're doing, bro. <laughs> I'm going to go no spirit. Hit the wrong buttons all the time. So easy to forget when I don't play this game for a while. Yep, obviously anything with kids is wrong. Anything with things that are particularly animals is wrong. And another thing that's always weird in the Japanese fresh is that sometimes they'll have, like, things that look like kids. Oh, they're hundreds of years old. It's okay. It should be. Don't try to justify this. You stop that. You stop trying to justify this. It ain't cool. And you know it. Stop trying to throw anything at me! It's one of the freaking Shy Guys freaking Rage Specialists. I'll remember them. That! Well, the hotheads are doing all the work for me. Basically, all you're all just getting hit with a bunch of freaking <laughs> Mario Brothers USA-specific items. For the most part. Screw you. But yeah, I hate, I hate when they do that. Like, you can tell they do fanservice real hard on some characters, and it's, like, disturbing. They know to go after a particular group's fetishes as well, which is annoying. It's fucking disturbing. It really is. The animals one is also one that's not cool. That's bestiality. There's a reason these are crimes. And yet, somehow, 
we have some communities creating series that embrace these fetishes, and it just disturbs me. Sonic is up there, especially as one. If you don't see any of the fan art, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, they made Expresso a slippery stage because of fucking birdness. The fact that Expresso basically ran like a fast piece of crap in freaking Donkey Kong Country 1. <laughs> he slid off to his death! Damn right! Oh, that was awesome. But yeah. Sometimes I have to wonder what's wrong with people. Like, come on. That's just wrong. Oh my god, I could have gone that way from here. So I knowingly ignored this. Now I feel stupid. Either way, I just hate when people, like, have a really great, really embrace, like, a love for something that's clearly wrong. Like, as far as I'm concerned with love, as long as you're of respectable age difference Ready? and, you know, Go! you're hopefully of the same fucking species for crying out loud, haha, <laughs> then I'm cool with it. Otherwise, no. Just no. Don't. Don't. Please. I don't need to know your preference for freaking, you know. Ha! I don't need to know your preference on, like, if you think a certain animal is hot, or if you think that freaking, you know, what it would be like to give an animal. No, thank you. Please don't. Never again. Don't you ever suggest that. Leave me the fuck alone with that, and go back in your corner of the hole with the rest of your kind. Leave the rest of us normal people alone. You just call us not normal? Um, yes. Definitely call you not normal. Because that's not normal! Alright, I was going to go after the Great Fairy, but honestly, I should probably end this episode. Let's see. Nothing on sale, but I... Ooh, five skill spheres! Don't mind if I do. So that's five skill spheres. Okay. I thought it was just one. It's even better than I thought. I don't think they ever go on sale, so it's not worth going after them. Alright, cool. Toss a meteor. Don't mind if I take you, Ezlo. And there's you, Beetle. Oh, he's the one talking to me. Little Judd. Chance of double final smash. Ooh. At least you were knowing to put things on a sale on, like, somebody who never puts anything on sale just has me trying to buy the same thing for full price. Ooh. Okay, Jonathan Morris. All right. Well, that works. And you, you let me know it's new if I haven't seen it in there before. But it's definitely appreciated, but I don't really need it. I forgot I basically have to end the episode, because if I don't, then I won't get to deal with this! Ah, oh, Monado Boy! I should have figured you'd show up. But yep, that's all I have to say about people and their sexual preferences. As long as it's with the same species and the age gap is not, like, extremely high, like, the absolute limit I would go for would allow is 10. And even then, you know, you'd have to be old enough anyway. I guess it like, you know, as you get older, it can kind of increase the age gap a little bit. But even still, there has to be a point. You can't just keep, you know, letting the age gap grow. So towards the battle! Because if it's like beyond 20, I absolutely am against it. I'm sorry. I cannot accept a relationship like that existing. It's just not cool. Not at all. Blech. All right, well... Either way, yeah, I should have the episode here before I get too far ahead of myself. How many skill spheres do I have right now, anyway? Ah, damn it! I need two more! Oh, well. By the way, it's end the episode here. Come back next time. I'll go into the pipe. Feels better here. Come back next time, and I guess we'll conquer more of these lands to hunt down more of these creatures, because there's still plenty of them around. It looks like we have an ice mound to explore now, too. For the rock to smash! And I bar man, so I can definitely do that. Turns out there's always more of this land that I keep remembering, because I always tend to forget. Oh, there's a down R wing over there, too! Oh, it's saying it's on aura there. I'm assuming that means I can't handle it. Well, well, I know the hard way by actually having to go up to it. So, we're going mountain climbing to deal with more mountainous creatures. It probably means we're going to get ice climbers soon. 
Ah, well, I actually do like them. At least we'll have some more fun. Good, more fighters means more action. See you guys next time.